Good. How about the set audio setting? You want to check the audio setting? Let's check audio setting. Uh, Click on the arrow there. This one right here, correct? Yep. There you go. Check, check, one, two, check, one, two, one, two, three, four. Check one, two, microphone check one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one.
Okay, it is 10 o'clock. And I know everybody has lots of things to do today. So uh, Gina, I think, Madam Clerk, I think we're all live and recording. Correct. Good morning. Good morning. So uh, we will now convene the final committee meeting of the Public Safety and Security Committee um, on the occasion of our JF deadline. So um, we are closing things out with a bang this year, which not usually the, always the way we want to schedule things. But um, but I am. I just want to say as we get started that it has. Even though I'm glancing to those of you on the screen and those of you in the room, it has been a, a pleasure working with everyone this year. Um, uh, on all of the matters in front of us. I think we've made a lot of progress, had a lot of good conversation. And, and next, we are gonna have to all work together to get the bills that we've worked hard to get through this committee, uh, through the, the chambers we sit in uh, after, after this. So I look forward to continuing to work with everyone on that. Um, any, uh, uh, Madam Co-Chair, uh, Senator Austin, any opening comments from you? Hey. Need to say that posts can't. Um, I'm looking forward to getting this done. I'm in the Capitol, so uh, I apologize I can't go on, but I've got two other meetings going on at the same time. Thank you, Senator. Uh, Senator Champagne, ranking member. Thank you. Every, uh, welcome, everybody. Uh, it's been a good session so far, and uh, we have still work ahead of us. Uh, but uh, thank you for coming in today, and uh, let's enjoy our last one. Ranking Member Representative Howard. Thank you, Madam Chair. I'd uh, uh, also like to echo comments of my colleagues. This has been a great start to the session, the Public Safety Committee, and I'm certain that we will continue to work together as, as our bills see, uh, go through our respective chambers. Um, uh, commend uh, the leadership here for getting things done in a bipartisan way, you know, day after day. Um, this is certainly a fun committee to serve on. And uh, despite what Senator Austin may be doing, I am confident that it is no more as fun or as important as public safety. Not sure what's going on on the screen there. <laughs> Thank you. So with that, uh, we will move to item three on our agenda, bills for review. Um, item number one, SB 256, I'd entertain a motion to JFS this bill to the floor. I'll make the motion. Senator Champagne, is there a second? I'll second. Representative Howard. Um, so this bill, uh, the JFS language in this bill essentially prohibits a motor vehicle recycler from receiving a catalytic converter that is not attached to a motor vehicle, uh, which thereby eliminates some of the language in the original underlying, the, the original bill uh, about keeping records. Um, and requires that any catalytic converter sold by a motor vehicle recycler have, a, have the VIN etched onto it and also requires scrap metal producers and junk dealers to maintain records uh, for two years. Uh, any discussion on this bill? Seeing none. Representative Howard? Madam Chair, I would move the consent calendar be created Agenda item number one, Senate Bill 256 on a JFS language, LCO 3780, be added to consent. Seeing no objection to that, Madam Clerk, can you add that to a consent calendar? Yes. Thank you. Uh, proceeding to item number two, SB 257. Um, sorry, backing up. On SB 256, I just want to note for the record that it is LCO 3780. Uh, it is on the consent calendar, so that will be read later. Um, but just want to make sure I mention that so I don't skip over that part. Okay, going back to item two, SB 257, LCO 3767, uh, an act concerning high volume third party sellers in, on online marketplaces. The uh, motion is a JFS to the floor. Do I hear such a motion? I'll make the motion. Thank you, Representative Howard. Is there I'll, a second? I'll second. <laughs> Senator Champagne for the second, thank you. Uh, so this bill, as the title um, describes, uh, requires certain disclosure for um, high volume third-party sellers on online 
practices. Uh, specifically, it requires online marketplaces to keep and maintain certain identifying information on high volume third party sellers and requires the online marketplace suspend the selling privilege of high volume third party sellers if they do not provide such information. Also online marketplaces to allow for electronic and telephonic reporting of suspicious activity on their platform. A violation of this act would open the online marketplace to a lawsuit under Connecticut's Uniform Trade Practices Act. The JFS language in this bill changes the effective date to January 1st, 2023, and eliminates the ability of DCP to make regulations to implement and enforce uh, the bill. Any discussion? Representative Howard. Thank you, Madam Chair. Madam Chair, uh, we've had several meetings uh, with and opponents of this, and I do support the concept. Uh, I think it's a, a great concept in the realm of consumer protection in the state, um, recognizing that the federal, our federal partners have taken up this similar initiative uh, almost verbatim. Um, I think it's certainly more suited to be taken federally uh, as opposed to doing, as we've heard, the patchwork of the states. Um, so I am a bit concerned uh, with Connecticut being you know, sort of first to market, if you will, uh, with this in, in the local area and what that could do to uh, up and coming online entrepreneurs. Uh, so I support the concept and look forward to working on this going forward as we monitor what's going on in Washington. I will vote no today just to flag it um, so that we can uh, give it a proper consideration in the future. Thank you. Thank you, Representative Howard. Any other seeing no further discussion? Um, Madam Clerk, will you call the roll? Yes. Roll call SB257. JFS to the floor. Representative Horn. So that the, the officers would have to know exactly what offenses Representative Horn. their certification for and not be, be rehired. Uh, so uh, it, I don't think that that's um, specific to all of them, Marty, but I'll get that list to you. Okay, good. And, and the other question I had is there any. Uh, yeah, there you go. And, okay. and Representative Horn. Madam Clerk, before we proceed with the rest of the role, I just want to state for the record that this is LCO 3767. Thanks. Okay. SB 257, JFS to the floor, LCO number 3767. Representative Horn. Representative Horn votes yes. Senator Austin. Just head gear. Senator Austin votes uh, in the affirmative. Senator Paolo. Senator Paolo votes in the affirmative. Senator Champagne. Votes no. My apologies, Senator Champagne. Do you mind repeating yourself so the camera can see you? Yes, Senator Champagne votes no. Thank you, sorry about that. Representative Howard? Representative Howard votes no. Thank you. Representative Ali Brennan? Representative Ali Brennan votes yes. Representative Barry? Representative Barry votes yes. <laughs> Representative Bohr? Representative Bohr votes yes. Sorry, Representative Bora, do you mind repeating yourself? I just want to make sure the camera. Sure, sees that's you. okay. Representative Bora <laughs> votes yes. Thank you. Representative Boyd? Representative Boyd, aye. Rep Senator Cassano? Senator Cassano? Senator Cassano? Senator Chicarella? Senator Chicarella votes no. Representative D. Giovanni Carlo. Rep. D. Giovanni Carlo votes yes. Representative Felipe. Representative Felipe votes yes. Senator Fonfera. Senator Fonfera. Senator Fonfera. Representative Jenga. Representative Jenga votes yes. Representative Gonzalez. Representative Gonzalez vote yes. Representative Green. Representative Green votes no. 
Representative Hall? Representative Hall votes no. My apologies, Representative Hall. Do you mind repeating yourself? I just want to make sure the camera picks you up. Sure. Representative Hall votes no. Thank you. Representative Hayes? Representative Hayes? Representative Hayes? Representative McGordy? Representative McGordy votes no. Representative Quinn? Representative Quinn? Representative Quinn? Representative Quinn? Representative Quinn? Representative Scott? Uh, representative. Go ahead, Representative Quinn. Uh, representative Quinn votes yes. Representative Scott. Thank you. Representative Scott votes no. Representative Scott. Um, representative Scott, can you please repeat yourself? I just want to make sure the camera picks you up. Absolutely, not a problem. Uh, representative Scott votes no. Thank you. <clears throat> representative Turco. Representative Turco votes yes. Representative Vale. Representative Vale votes no. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Madam Clerk. And for the record, we will hold votes open uh, after the meeting, but we're going to see what time we uh, get through our business today to announce what time that will be. Um, moving to item three, SB 370, an act concerning conditions under which private investigators and security guards may perform duties while license applications are pending. This is LCO 3678. Uh, the motion is a JFS to the floor. Do I hear such a motion? So moved. Thank you, Representative Howard, Senator Champagne with a second. Uh, any discussion? Seeing none, Representative Howard? <laughs> Madam Chair, I move that agenda item number three, Senate Bill 370, JFS language, LCO 3678, be added to consent. Seeing no objection to that, Madam Clerk, will you add SB 370 to the consent agenda? Yes. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, item four, S, uh, sorry, HB 5288, an act concerning uh, act creating a task force to examine the motor vehicle accident report form used by law enforcement. The motion is a JF to the floor. Do I have such a motion? Make so, a motion. Second. Senator Champagne, Representative Howard with a second. Thank you. Any discussion? Just one. Uh, just, uh, Madam Chair, if I could briefly just recognize the Vice Chair for his, his work on this. Uh, he's worked uh, very hard uh, to get this forward, and I hope that this year it makes it through both chambers. This is uh, a task force that would certainly make things better in the realm of crash investigation. So just that quick comment. I thank you for that, Representative Howard. Good Vice Chair has worked very hard on this and has gotten gained more support for this bill every year. So uh, thankful we can give it another push. Thank you. Uh, seeing no discussion, Representative Howard, any other suggestions? Certainly, Madam Chair, I would move that. So, agenda item number four, House Bill 5288, be moved to consent. Seeing no objection, Madam Clerk, will you add HB 5288 to the consent agenda as well? Yes. Thank you. Uh, item five, HB 5399, uh, Act Concerning Project Longevity. Uh, the motion is a JF to the floor. Do I have such a motion? So moved. Thank you, Representative Second. Howard. Thank you, Senator Champagne. Um, this bill uh, seeks to expand the delivery of educational employment and career services to Project Longevity clients uh, involving the Bo Board of Regents, the Governor's Workforce Council, and Regional Workforce mm -hmm. Development Boards in the development of strategies to better deliver those services. Uh, any um, discussion? 
Seeing none, Representative Howard. Madam Chair, I move agenda item number six, House Bill number 5420. I'm sorry. No, 5399. Agenda item number five, House Bill number 5399, be moved to consent. I'm ahead of myself. Thank you, Representative Howard. And, and this time I will again commend the Vice Chair for his work on this bill. So lots of credit to go around here. Uh, and seeing no objection to it being added to the consent agenda, Madam Clerk, will you add HB 5399 to the consent agenda? Yes. Thank you. Uh, item six, HB 5420, an act concerning mental health needs uh, of and services for police officers, certain requirements regarding police training and certain reports. Uh, LCO 3676, the motion is JFS to the floor. Do I have such a motion? So moved. Second. Thank you, Representative Howard. With motion, Senator Champagne with the second. Uh, this bill uh, has a number of provisions. It prohibits discipline of a police officer solely for receiving services associated with required behavioral health assessment. It requires post to develop new training for police officer interactions with persons who have mental or physical disabilities and persons who are deaf, hard of hearing, or deaf blind. It appropriates $100,000 for crisis intervention training for police officers. It establishes a task force to study mental health needs of law enforcement officers. It requires a study to determine the percentage of 911 dispatch calls that would be more appropriately directed to 211. It requires a report on the use of online or remote technology by post for officer training after initial certification. And it requires a report on the community and law enforcement for addiction recovery project. The JFS language here uh, merely adds one more task for force member, so the, the number of members on that is odd, which is frequently more convenient. Uh, adding another, the, the additional appointment is to a, uh, for a labor organization representing municipal police departments and its appointment by the governor. Um, any discussion? Seeing none. Representative Howard. Now I will move, Madam Chair, that agenda item number six, House Bill number 5420, substitute language LCO 3676, be added to consent. Thank you, Representative Howard. Seeing no objection, uh, Madam Clerk, will you move uh, HB 5420, LCO 3676 to the consent calendar? Yes. Thank you. And finally, uh, item seven, HB 5191. Uh, an act concerning emergency intervention by a police officer when a person suffers a narcotics overdose. The LCO 354, uh, the motion is a JFS to the floor. So moved. Representative Hall for the mo with the motion. Second. Representative Howard with the second, thank you. Um, this bill, um, the JFS language in this bill essentially changes the, under, the underlying statute that we are amending from uh, 17A503, which concerned police ability to take someone into custody with psychiatric disabilities who was a danger to himself, to 17A683, which requires a police officer to take into protective custody anyone who appears to be incapacitated by alcohol. That's the current underlying statute. This would add uh, allowing such protective custody when someone is incapacitated by drugs uh, or a medical emergency. Um, any further discussion? Representative Howard. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, each day in, in this state, uh, when EMS responders respond to calls and, and folks are uh, incapacitated, whether it be by alcohol, some narcotic within their system, or some other reason that they are not of sound mind to make, make good decisions, um, EMS is required to cause them to be transported to the hospital under protocol uh, because the person cannot make an informed refusal uh, of sound mind. Uh, in some occasions, they do rely on police officers to assist them with that. Um, and each time a police officer compels somebody to do something, whether it is physically or not, it, it is constituted as a use of force. Uh, what this seeks to do is um, provide some statutory enabling language for those officers when they compel these individuals uh, to go to the hospital to get the medical treatment they need until such time they are of sound mind to make their own decisions um, to give them some sort of enabling language for, for that protection that we're calling on our officers to do. I'm happy to support this language. Uh, a lot of work went into it, um, and uh, I'm grateful for, for those who uh, had input on it, and I'm happy to vote yes today. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Representative. Uh, Representative Hall. Thank you, Madam Chair. 
I think we've seen many changes to this bill over the course of the, the many years that this has been proposed. And I think this is a really nice compromise and I to get behind this bill. Um, it, it's asking for a lesser, uh, a lesser action than the police actually have the ability to do now. Right now, the way it stands is the police can actually make arrests when someone uh, is involved in a drug overdose. They're asking for a lesser action here. So they have the ability to get that person the help that they need. And it is, it is not seeking to arrest or incarcerate or hold anybody against their will. It's simply looking for a emergency transportation to a medical facility or a treatment center. Uh, the person has the ability once the uh, staff and medical staff have, have worked with them to come up with what is best for them, they will be the ultimate decider if they wanna remain and seek more treatment or if they wanna be released. So this is not a mandatory custody. It's simply a transport for the medical help that they, they really need. So I, I'm, I wanna thank uh, Representative Howard for all the work he's done so diligently on this bill. It was a heavy lift and uh, I think this represents a good compromise. So I appreciate all the hard work that went into this and uh, that's all I have. So thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, Representative Hall. Um, Madam Co-Chair, Senator Austin. All right, I'm trying to be careful as I go from meeting to meeting. Um, uh, on this bill here, um, I appreciate the work that's, uh, that's gone into it. Um, I uh, plan on supporting it out of committee, uh, but I do think it still needs some work. So um, uh, I will be supporting it to make sure that we can continue this conversation. And uh, again, I appreciate all the work that everybody has done. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. Uh, Representative Bohr. Thank you, Madam Chairwoman. I just want to echo what Senator Austin said. I think this conversation is too critical for it to end today. If we vote no, then uh, we cannot take it up again until next year. We had a similar bill last year. Um, it's an important topic. Our police officers are asking that when they see someone that can be um, in distress or need further evaluation, they don't wanna turn and walk away. They want the ability to help that person. I know it's not a perfect bill and um, I agree we need to, continue to work on it out of committee, but um, I'm willing to continue to work on that. And I really wanna thank everybody who's contributed towards the conversation, both in the public hearing and all the members of our committee. Thank you. Thank you, Representative Bohr. Um, I, I also wanna, we have worked on this issue uh, as a committee for the last couple of years. And I, and I wanna commit both Representative Hall, but also Representative Howard for his work on this issue. I, and we had a lot of testimony on this. I, I think we are all, the, the issue is clear, there is clearly an issue that needs resolution here, uh, you know, about a position that an officer in particular is put in uh, with somebody uh, facing an emergency situation in which they are not able to take the action, uh, an action that might save a life. However, there are other consequences raised by this. The bill, even under uh, the JFS language, remains uh, Demis remains opposed to the bill, as do the um, organized EMTs who, with whom I've spoken uh, with about that JFS language. Um, for that reason, I, I will be voting no today to flag the bill, but I, I will be keeping an eye on the vote to see whether the, uh, uh, the, the conversation will continue because I do think there's an important conversation here and, and a lot of people have worked very hard to try to address a genuine issue that is thorny to solve, particularly because the underlying statutes are kind of, uh, are, are, do not work in concert with one another. And so it's a challenge. So any further, Senator Champagne. Thank you. And I'm gonna support this bill today. Um, as a police officer, uh, I've transported people to the hospital who were under the influence of alcohol where they couldn't take care of themselves. And, and once they were there, they, the treatment was given and they decided if they wanted to stay or go. This is what I see with this bill. 
when a, a police officer comes across somebody who is incapacitated due to uh, their use of narcotics, they're transported to the hospital. Once the medical emergency o- is over, this is, and, and this is the important part, they can make the decision to leave or stay. This is not a forced into treatment. And, and that has to be the point made. This is strictly a medical issue. And, and that's what we're aiming for here. Because one, once a lot, an officer leaves, that same person from the same overdose, we may have to go back. And we've gone back uh, two other times uh, where we've had to hit the person over and over again. And they're not taking more heroin. This is still from the original. So this is to simply take care of the medical issue so the person doesn't die. And once that issue is taken care of, they can say, I no longer want treatment, and they can leave. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. Any seeing no further discussion, Madam Clerk, will you call the roll? Yes. HB5191, um, LCO number 3564. JFS to the floor. Representative Horn. Representative Horn votes no. Senator Austin. Senator Austin votes in the affirmative. Representative Palillo. Representative Palillo votes in the affirmative. Senator Champagne. Senator Champagne votes yes. Representative Howard. Representative Howard votes yes. Representative Ali Brennan. Representative Ali Brennan votes no. Representative Barry. Representative Barry votes yes. Representative Bohr. Representative Bohr votes yes. Representative Boyd. Representative Boyd, aye. Senator Cassano. Senator Cassano. Senator Cassano. Senator Chicarella. Senator Chicarella votes yes. Representative D.D. Roncarlo. Rep. D.D. Roncarlo votes yes. Representative Felipe. Rep. Felipe votes yes. Representative Felipe, do you mind repeating yourself? I just want to make sure the screen sees you. Representative Felipe votes yes. Thank you. Senator Fonfera. Senator Fonfera. Senator Fonfera. Representative Jenga. Representative Jenga votes yes. Representative Gonzalez. Representative Gonzalez vote no. Representative Green. Representative Green votes yes. Representative Hall. Representative Hall votes yes. Representative Hayes. Representative Hayes. Representative Hayes. Representative McGordy. Representative McGordy votes yes. Representative Quinn. One second. Uh, Representative Quinn votes yes. Representative Scott. Representative Scott votes yes. Representative Turco. Representative Turco. Representative Turco votes yes. Representative Vale. Representative Vail votes yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Uh, can we move now to the consent calendar? And uh, Madam Clerk, could you call the roll on the consent? Read, please read the bills on the consent calendar and call the roll. Thank you. Yes. Roll call SB256, LCO number 3780. An act concerning the purchase of receipt of 
catalog converters by motor vehicle recyclers, scrap metal pro professor processors, and junk dealers. SB370, LCO number 3678, an act concerning the condition under which private investigators and security guards may perform duties while license applications are pending. HB5288, an act creating a task force to examine the motor vehicle accident report form used by law enforcement officers. HB 5399, an act concerning project longevity. HB 520, LCO number 3676, an act concerning mental health needs and needs of and services for police officers, certain requirements regarding police training and certain reports. We have five bills on the consent calendar. Roll call, Representative Horn. Representative Horn votes yes. Senator Austin. Senator Austin votes in the affirmative. Representative Palillo. Representative Palillo votes in the affirmative. Senator Champagne. Senator Champagne votes yes. Representative Howard. Representative Howard votes yes. Representative Ali Brennan. Representative Ali Brennan votes yes. Representative Barry. Representative Barry votes yes. Representative Bohr. Representative Bohr votes yes. Representative Boyd. Representative Boyd, aye. Senator Cassano. Senator Cassano. Senator Cassano. Senator Chicarella. Senator Chicarella votes yes. Representative DG Roncarlo. Rep DG Roncarlo votes yes. Representative Felipe. Representative Felipe votes yes. Senator Fonfera. Senator Fonfera. Senator Fonfera. Representative Jenga. Representative Jenga votes yes. Representative Gonzalez. Representative Gonzalez votes yes. Representative Hall. Representative Hall votes yes. Representative Hayes. Representative Hayes. Representative Hayes. Representative McGordy. Representative McGordy, yes. Representative Quinn. Representative Quinn votes yes. Representative Scott. Representative Scott votes yes. Representative Turco. Representative Turco votes yes. Representative Vale. Representative Vale votes yes. Representative Green, sorry, my apologies. I think I skipped over you. You did, I was just about to remind you. Thank you. Representative Green votes yes. Thank you, Gina. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, Representative, we're all set. Uh, thank you, Madam Clerk. We will um, hold votes open for an hour. Sorry, I misread my watch a moment ago till 1130. Is that workable? Um, yeah. With that, uh, we will head into recess. I just want to thank everyone again for a productive year, uh, a, a short session. I think we got some business done and hopefully we'll now take that on to the floors of our respective chambers. So any other, uh, Representative Felipe, do you have your hand raised? Yes, I do. Um, I just wanted to, to recognize, and I'm not sure how many of the folks in, uh, in this committee are, are moving on, but I know that somebody in leadership, uh, Senator, our Senator is moving on. And I want to make sure that we understand that we've disagreed a lot on this, uh, committee the last two years, but I wanted to 
make sure that he knows all the, the work that he's done is appreciated, especially on this side of the aisle. Uh, we couldn't do it without you, and, and we wish you luck in the, in the next uh, phase of your life. Uh, we thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Representative Felipe. Uh, we, I sit here next to the good senator and um, go through all the process here, focus on the process, and, and lost track of the big picture for a moment there. So I'm really glad, Representative Felipe, that you brought up, it up. It has been a pleasure working with Senator Champagne for the last couple of years, and uh, we wish him great luck in all he does going forward. Thank you. Um, Maria? Go ahead, Senator. Thank you. I also want to thank everybody on the committee working with both um, Senator Champagne, Representative Howard, and you yourself, and the rest of the committee members has uh, been so productive this year. I, I am uh, excited for the uh, product that we have produced, and I hope that um, uh, most of all of this uh, becomes law. Uh, it's taken a lot of work and working together, so uh, I want to thank everybody, uh, and um, I look forward to us getting through the House and the uh, Senate on a number of bills. Thank you, Senator. With that, uh, we are in recess uh, until 1130 so that others may vote, uh, at which point we will adjourn. Thank you and go forth and rock on. Uh, Gina, this is Kathy. Did you ca capture all my votes? Do I have anything else to vote on? Nope, it looks like you're all set. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Gina? Hi, Representative Jenga, how are you? Okay, uh, I got in about five minutes late, I had trouble. I think I got all the votes. I just want to verify. Yes, you're all set, Representative Jenga. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. The first one went on consent. Just wanted to make sure. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Have a good one. Thanks for all your help. You too. No problem.
unmute. Is anybody there? Hi, Representative. Gina. Hi, Senator Casano. Good morning. How Hi, are Gina. you? Good. I've been flipping in and out trying to get in here. <laughs> All right. I'm glad you made it in. Um, okay, so we had seven bills on the agenda. I'm not sure if you were able to take a look at it. Um, so SB257, uh, it was JF to the JFF to the floor, LCO number 3767. And they did a roll call for that one. Um, that's an act concerning high volume third party sellers on online marketplaces. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Senator Cassano votes yes for the record. <laughs> okay, thank you. And then HB 5191, LCO number 3564, JFS to the floor. We also did a roll call on that one. Um, that one was an act concerning emergency intervention by a police officer when a person suffers a narcotic overdose. Senator Gasano votes yes. Okay. And then we had five on the consent calendar, SB 256, LCO number 3780, um, an act concerning the purchase of receipt of Cadillac converters, motor vehicle recycling, scrap metal processors and junk dealers. And then we had SB 370, LCO number 3678, um, an act concerning the conditions under which private investigators and security guards may perform duties while license applications are pending. HB 5288, an act creating a task force to examine the motor vehicle accident report formed by used by law enforcement officers. HB 520, LCO number 3676, an act concerning mental health needs of and, of and services for police officers, certain requirements regarding police training and certain reports. We also did a roll call for the consent calendar. Okay, Senator Cassano votes yes on the consent calendar. Okay, so you're all set. Thank you. Okay. So much. Thank Have you. A good day. You too now. Bye bye. Thanks.
Good morning, Representative King. <clears throat> Can you hear me? Good morning. I can see you moving your mouth, but I can't hear you. I'm unmuted, but oh, I can hear you now. Uh, no, it stopped. How about now? It says I'm unmuted. Oh, you're good now. Uh, it keeps going in and out. Mm -mm. Now? Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so um, we worked on seven bills today off the agenda. Um, SB 257 was JFS to the floor. LCO number 3767, and it was a roll call. Um, that was bill, an act concerning high volume third party sellers on online marketplace. It went out, I can't hear you. Now, number two on the agenda? Uh, yes. I see your mouth moving, but I can't hear you. <laughs> okay. So then we had HB 5191, LCO number 3564, JFS to the floor. And let me read the bill. Um, is an act concerning emergency intervention by a police officer when a person suffers a narcotic overdose? Yes. Okay. And then we have five on the consent calendar. Um, we had SC256, LCO number 3780, and ask concerning the purchase of uh, receipt of Cadillac converters by motor vehicle recyclers, scrap metal processors, and junk dealers. And then we had SB 370, LCO, LCO number 3678, and act concerning the conditions under which private investigators and security guards may perform duties while license applications are pending. And then we had HB 5288, an act creating a task force to examine the motor vehicle accident report form used by law enforcement officers. And then we had HB 5399, an act concerning project longevity, and HB 5420, LCO number 3676, um, an act concerning mental health needs um, and services for police officers certain requirements regarding police training and certain reports. So we have those five on the consent calendar and it was a roll call. A vote yes. Okay. Okay, you're all set. Thank you. All right, have a great day. Bye.